The bam! The ball was straight there. Hmm. Five big ones, little. Ruth was my friend. What'd you say? You gonna pay for your sinning? She told me she wasn't the first. First? She can't tell you nothing. Who been talking them lies, the preacher? Angels. Get her, boy. Rabbit's running. We're seeing it! Go ahead now, they know we're safe! Hawk is gonna find you. Smiling, why'd you wait so long? It's just my only crutch, and it's over my shoulder. Well, you're talking so fast that the days turned out slower. Keep on the path I sent you on. Visionaries aren't brown no more. They left their markings in the coconut forest and scraped on the shore for the days that had rolled on. Keep on the path I sent you on. I reckon you ran up front side of a nail. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I tried calling for help, but... Yeah, that wouldn't work when you need it to now, would it? <laughs> no, I guess not. Well, let me have a little look, take see what you got here. Thank you. Well, yep, that's on there. Yeah, I did my best. Y'all them folk what moved up Caplewood. Yeah, we are. It's a good old house. Good old house. Yeah, it is. 
Far cry from the city, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, along with our pristine roads, people say we're famous for our views. Thank you so much. What do I owe you? No, ma'am. No, I could not have done this myself. Nah. You could have. And you would have, too. Besides, I'd hate to have to haul you in for bribing an officer of the law before y'all even get settled. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you again. Ma'am, excuse me, what is that right there? It's a birthmark. Good day. Oh, ma'am? One thing I might should say, being as y'all ain't from around here, not all places is fit for visiting. What do you mean? Well, there's some strange folk around here. They made their life on their own, God bless them, and they not be disturbed as all. Hey, babe. Hi, sweetie. Where you been? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> a little bit of a disaster. Hi. Aw, oh, I missed you, too. I blew a tire, though. That's why I'm late. I'm sorry. Uh, please tell me you didn't change it. <laughs> no, I actually tried to, but then a local came by and helped me. Oh, wow. It's a little creepy, but he still did it. Yeah, and I almost cut off my finger. You almost cut off your finger? Yeah, perils of housework. Oh, look at you, tough guy. Yeah, watch out. Look at your nails getting dirty. Right? I like it. So, uh, well, what are you making tonight? Uh, I'm going to make something called the Cousin Jean in a party. Perfect. Job well done today. Yeah, thanks. We were like 20% done. <laughs> I think we're finally where we need to be. This really feels like home. Cheers. Thank you for coming. This is my husband. How you doing, Dave? Yeah, pleasure. Oh, thank you. I know. I'm huge. <laughs> Give me your coat. I want to show you. Oh, my God. I'm so jealous. Oh, don't be, please. It's yours. Anytime oh. you just say the word. Well, it's actually the uh, banks, but who wants to let facts get in the way? <laughs> and this one, too, of course, if he plays his cards right. Oh, OK. <laughs> so this is where we're going to do it. I uh, do. It. Yeah, that's where the magic happens. Yeah, we've already got the midwife, and of course my favorite doctor is going to be on call. Oh, so you're giving birth here? Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. I mean, fingers crossed. <laughs> you guys, this is really wonderful. I'm, I'm really excited for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you the rest of the house. Come here. Come on. Excuse us. Thank you. You, sir, thirsty? Absolutely. Oh, yes, we really can. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You. Yeah. Yeah, well done. So, any tips for a uh, new local? Oh, uh, uh, soda's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, tips for a local? Yeah, Sarah says you grew up around here. Oh, uh, more like 50 miles south, closer to the city. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a uh, different world out here. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I hear you play football. Used to. Had a ride back at state until I threw my back out. Oh, sorry to hear about that. And now? Personal trainer. A little touch on the weekends if I'm feeling frisky. Oh, nice. Yeah, back trauma's no joke. And the list gets scarier with football players. Count your blessings. Cheers. Cheers. So how long has it been since you've seen them, then? Every other month or so, maybe. I don't know. That's great. That means this medicine's actually working, then. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm not gonna 
embarrass you or anything if that's what you're worried about. No, so. that is not. You have never embarrassed me. That's no, not what I meant at all. I know. You know, I've had my own issues with seeing things. I know, I know. It's just, it, <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> like, you live with these people since you're a kid, and then a doctor comes along and tells you that they're not real, that it doesn't exist, and to take this medicine, and it's going to make you all better, and, and then everyone's gone. I'm not gone. I'm not going anywhere. Matt's not going anywhere. Dave seems pretty real. I mean, that guy, <laughs> wow, he seems really real. I think I really like him. Good. I'm really looking forward to getting to know him. No fucking way. Woo! Nice date! This is sick. Hey! What the hell, stranger? Uh, you know, I figured you invited us, and what kind of uncle would I be if I didn't show up? <laughs> Hi. I did invite you. That was about five months ago, though, and you weren't supposed to RSVP. Well, if RSVP means show up with dirty laundry, then we <laughs> did just that. That's exactly what it means. Yeah, hey, I want you to meet the pearl of my life. This is Sky. Sky, this is my sister. Sarah. Hey, God, you're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, dude, thank, thank you, you for letting us crash. So cool with you. You are so welcome. And this right here is Sabrina La Teenage Bruja, all grown up. Yeah, it looks like you've come a long way. Hi, thank you very much. Yeah, that is ours right there. We love her, don't we? Mm -hmm. Own it, huh? Is that Dr. Matt over there? Hey, we're gonna go get cleaned up real quick, all right? Look for lunch, bud. Hey. Hey. You don't have to worry about embarrassing me now. Some brothers here. <laughs> Hi. Juice. And she like to pretend. Oh, Rod, right. what kind of clothes? Uh, casual workwear. Uh, that's what I call it anyway. It's like light wools and stitched patterns. Cool. Like um, this. Yeah, yeah, like like this actually. Nice. <laughs> I like it. So you really think I'd enjoy burning then, bro? Would Would you enjoy the true freedom of the mind? Yeah, it's a good little clinic. Only about twenty intakes a day. Wow, that'll be a change. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, city life's good for your 20s, but after that, it gets a little crazy. Well, it's perfect for you guys. Yeah, we've been just, like, traveling around for the last six months. Yeah, Eric said, like, Oregon, Arizona. Oh, Arizona was amazing. The Red Rocks are so groovy. Uh, we're trying to get down to the Gulf Coast for summer. Those cute towns. Those cute towns. Yes, those cute towns. I, I want to see them. So cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like your charm. Oh, right on, yeah. I got this at this little flea market in Tahoma, you know, and it kind of, like, I don't know, I kind of drew us here, you know? Have you been out to the woods yet? Oh, no, we haven't had time yet. Mm. There's a doctor not want to pitch a tent. <laughs> Do you guys need anything? No, I'm good, baby. All right, good, yeah. thank you. How great is she? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she seems really sweet. She is. When are you planning on getting home? We're home. This is it. Oh, come on, don't... <laughs> Don't give me that look, all right? I'm not trying to move into your big house with too many rooms. Okay. Our home is the slab that we rolled in on. That's our home now. You are going to live in the van? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, besides, we can't really, um... We can't really go back to the apartment. You know, we haven't paid rent since, like, November. But, no, but it, the walls were getting small, and it was, it was like... It was really, like... Jesus, I don't know, really the energy down. wasn't there, you know? Okay, have you thought about getting a job? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, you know, it's like, life is about living, you know, living. Yeah, living takes money, Eric, <sighs> food, gas. We'll be all right, I always am, you know that. <clears throat> Look at you, grill master. Yeah, it's actually all local. Yeah, cool. Yeah, would you like one? Um, uh, I kind uh, of am, uh, I'm actually a bed. Yeah. Damn, I wish I would have known. No, dude, uh, it's cold. No, hold tight, um, I think, I might have something for you. Don't, like, go out of your way no. for me or anything. Not a problem. And I hope that that's enough to carry you for a little bit. Oh, babe, it's more than enough. Thank you. Babe, do you have any of that, uh, pasta left? Hey, give me a beer or something. Uh, I'm good. All right. Really? What am I supposed to do?
This is such a quaint little spread. Who would have thought the big city elitism would travel so cool to the country, huh? Yeah, well, that big city elitism is financing your dirtbag life. Hey, so, uh, Matt, I see you still got uh, Dad's old Jeep. Yeah, it's a workhorse. Hauled some brush off the road with it last weekend. I always thought the doctors all drove Audis, you know? Well, this doctor doesn't. But it's just because he's made some sacrifices for me and our family. And the baby is the only thing that matters to us. Probably the rest of it will come in time, Audis included. Okay? Does anybody mind if I freshen up? It's been, like, a lot longer than I'd care to admit. Yeah, 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 yeah come on in. Yeah, yeah, I think I just fell asleep. Hey, 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 hey. I, I heard her scream. I went to help. I didn't think she was going to be half naked. Well, I didn't seem to mind either. So. Well, I was checking out our guest. What's your deal? I don't know. I'm sorry. I've been having these really weird thoughts lately about us and the move and the baby and... It's okay. We're fine. Sit down. <laughs> you know the baby's perfect. Every test we've done, every sonogram, they've all said the same thing. Yeah, I know. I just... Yeah, what did you just want? I don't know how to explain it. When I was on the road yesterday, the trees and the clouds, and there were these wildflowers everywhere. And things just... They move so quickly, you know? Time just passes, and life is... It's so precious, it's so fragile, and... Like it's gone so quickly. Hey, look at me. We're the lucky ones. Other people, they they go through life and they don't have what we have. We're strong because we have each other. I know. I just want her to live a long, happy life. Yeah, well, she will. I promise. <laughs> I will personally make sure of it. <laughs> I just love her so much, you know? Yeah. I would do anything for her. Everything's gonna be fine. I know. It was a man. What kind of man? Dark hair. Beard, long beard. Eyes like fire. Eyes like fire? Did he say anything to you? No. Did you say anything to him? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't really remember. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, copy that. I'm gonna give you a pass this time, but this is... This is some good stuff.
The angels visited again last night. They talked to me. I wasn't scared. It's not for a walk. Yeah, you guys live on a cemetery. That's awesome. It's not a cemetery. It's a plot. Oh, my oh. God, Matt. She was so young. All right, guys, come on. I know this is a bummer, right? But, hey, we're alive, so we should live. We're here to have fun. I mean, we showed up. She's not going anywhere. We can come back and visit her later. Come on. First one to the beer wins. <laughs> So we check into the haunted hotel in Portland, right? And I guess like the ninth floor is the most haunted. And so what floor do they put us on? <laughs> but the ninth. <laughs> do you really believe that crap? Dude, all along the coast we stopped at these plantations to hunt. To hunt. For ghosts. Oh yeah, right. Oh seriously, bro. Oh no, seriously. No, let me show you. Boom. Oh, what's that? Ah, uh, EVP recorder. It stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. And you use that to... To hunt ghosts. Oh. I'd laugh if you want, but I'm telling you, have you guys ever been in these slave quarters before? It's crazy. Okay, they got these, like, four-foot ceilings, and they got these, like, these chains hanging off the walls, and I'm telling you, you can feel it. I mean, these spirits, they want to be heard. You hear them? Yeah. Take a listen. Eric. Hey. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, what the hell is this? You don't hear it? Well, no, I, I hear it. I just don't hear it. You're not listening, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, I'm done listening for today. Dude, if you don't believe me, ask Sarah. Ask her what? Ask her if she believes in ghosts. Stop it, Eric. What? I mean, you've never told me. Tell me what? Nothing. When we were kids. Stop. Oh, when you were kids, what? When we were kids, there were ghosts in our house. Who were there? It was two days before our sixth birthday, and they came for us. <laughs> They came for you? Yeah. And you know what saved us? Butterflies. Look what happened. Happened, right? There's no reason to deny it. Don't be a dick. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm sorry. I didn't. Sarah, come on. You know, it's 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 hard to believe that she's related to you. Why is that? 
Well, for one thing, she's loving, she's kind, she's considerate. Pretty much all the things that you're not. Wow. I guess everybody has to have their opposite, right? That's probably why she chose you. some good ghost fodder up in those mountains. Yeah? What do you mean? There was a serial killer back in the 70s. Who? Newspapers called him Cannibal Cain, said he mutilated his victims, then ate them. Some weird satanic something or other. They caught him, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creepy to know that there's people like that in jail getting old like the rest of us. Well, not anymore. But he got out? No, 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 no. Uh, he died. The prison burnt down back in the 80s. It was like it was a big story around here. Something like 100 people were trapped inside and died in their we cell. We need to check that out. Yeah, we do. What? Yeah, it's a perfect night, full moon. Oh, excuse me? Wait, you want to take us to a burnout prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. At night, because there's a full moon. Somehow a full moon makes that a good idea? If you want to go now, there's still daylight left, but... um. Well, the only thing is, is that the ghosts don't come out until night. Uh, that's right. That's in your, uh, your your ghost hunting manual, right? I, I have <laughs> always wanted to see that place, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, what? I, <laughs> I say we go. It'll be fun. Come on, Bree. In high school, all the kids used to go up there. It was like a dare, kind of like make out in the in the prison kind of thing, you know? Ah. <laughs> make some more recordings, edit to the box. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to do this. It'll be fun. Where's fun, Bree? Let's go. How about you, Matt? You game? Come on. Come on, if there's no ghosts, it's no big deal, right? You serious? Okay, uh, I'm in. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Wow. Baby, it's, it's cool, it's fun, it's no big deal. Okay? <laughs> Little adventure. Babe. Hey, where's that old crappy sweater I love? Why are you doing this? Yeah, it's gonna get cold. That's not what I mean. No, what the hell was he talking about with the butterflies? It was with Eric. I mean, I don't know. They probably just nested under the house and then got out, got into our room somehow. Look, he tells his bullshit stories and he travels around the world pissing away our money and, and I'm, I'm over it. Now this shit? Ghosts? Butterflies? Really? Oh, you never shared that with me. I want your brother out of here. Can you keep your voice down, please? I'm sorry about the check. I should have said something. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's bigger than the check. It's everything. Not responding to your emails, uh, blowing off your phone calls, and now the random showing up to crash whenever he wants, telling more bullshit stories that are obviously bothering you. Well, how is this helping? I want to see what he sees. And call bullshit on it. Finally chip away at this, this myth he's built his entire life around. Okay, he's not your responsibility. Yeah, well, you are. And you're gonna be the mother of our child. Even though you were born two minutes before he was, you've been playing big sister for way too long. He's got to grow up. It starts today. That's fine. Yeah, 
Well, someday you're gonna realize that this isn't a mistake. What isn't a mistake? Who we are. The things we've seen, the things that we've been shown. Terry, you and I have a gift. Oh, I do have a gift. And you've managed to convince him to take this stupid hike. And if anything happens to him, I will kill you with my bare hands. Yes, ma'am. See you later. How would anybody build a prison out here? Why not? Probably safer out here than Alcatraz. How the hell would you find your way out of this place? Say we divide and conquer. Great. Wow. Place. It's insane. It just keeps going. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Look what I got. Uh, Look at you prepared. Go get this cannibal motherfucker. <laughs> you ready? You know what?
gonna be good. No, no, no. Would oh, you smoke too much? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, we don't have much time left to go down here. Come on. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. Hey, this guy, baby, this is what we came for, right here. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not feeling it, baby. Come on. I'm gonna take real good care of you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Come on. What the fuck's that idea? All clear. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is the old mess hall. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. We can go. We've seen this, right? What? Hey, look, it's just an old building. There's nothing to be scared of. Okay? No, I know. Okay. I know. Right. I just want to go. I'm just done. Okay. All right. Prisoners died. This is fucking it. You here with us, Kate? Kate, are you here? No way. What the hell is that? these people up in the mountains. They developed their own kind of religion. Some sort of demonology based on voodoo and Christianity and oral 